Hey guys, in today's Lightroom tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get details in the sky using gradient filter. So let's begin. I've already selected an image that has a lot of sky in it. So what we have to do is just do the basic color correction first, then get to the gradient filter. So the trick to get a good image for uh, good details in the sky is to take it a bit underexposed where the details of the sky are not lost so this picture is a bit underexposed but that works fine for us and i would suggest taking in raw because of its flexibility so let's just begin the temperature looks fine for me so you can see here the exposure a bit underexposed a very bit right here it's not going it's very fine Okay. and the contrast the highlights is down here saturation whites as well and the blacks clarity vibrance and the saturation already you have a pretty okay image and if you need more uh, drama in the sky you b always add a bit of saturation for the blues and for the oranges but make sure you don't overdo it because it can affect all part of the image as you can see down here these people have a white dress but it's already blue in color which we will see in detail later on so as of now the image looks good it has a lot of sky and the building as well what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the sky even more interesting and that is using the gradient filter it it is a tool towards the right corner of the image corner of the screen you can see here gradient filter it's a shortcut is m so what i'm gonna do is just press it and a new window pops up down and you can see there's temperature the stained exposure contrast highlight shadows clarity saturation pretty much everything you get down there and what i'm gonna do is select the area of the image where i have to use the gradient filter that is here you can see there's a plus sign here already so what i have to do is just start dragging from the area and towards down where i have to end it so this is how the gradient filter is uh, drawn in on the image so you can see uh, by pressing this show selected mask overlay you can see which part of the image the gradient filter is currently right now so what i'm gonna do is bring it down a bit here because there's sky here as well so note that there are areas of the building as well selected in this so we're gonna deal with that later on but right now we're gonna untick here right now see this is how the gradient filter looks and now uh, if you have to move it just click on the center line towards the center of that and you can just move it and this end lines towards both ends decides how graduate the filter is or how thin or how narrow it is you can see how flexible it is it's very easy to do that so this looks pretty good for uh, me okay now for the gradient filter we have to select uh the details so first i go with the highlights bring it down completely shadows uh, don't touch it for now contrast bring it up a little saturation as well a bit exposure you can go down a bit not too much and the sky looks more interesting already but compared to the sky this building is a little less detail so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another green filter in an opposite side and we're gonna do what we did in this other filter as well in our opposite way as well so we're gonna bring down the sha bring up the shadows see already you can see there's a lot of details in the shadows here so we bring up the highlights a bit exposure a bit as well so you can see how much the details are there in the building as well right now okay so 
that is what we could have done maybe one year ago right now lightroom has added a new feature within the gradient filter you can brush out and brush in other parts of the image so it's pretty like you can add more areas to the filter so what i'm gonna do is see to this filter you have uh, this place that is a bit underexposed so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select brush that is right here below the main tool this thing it's right after next new edit and the here is brush you select brush and you can select the size here or the shortcut keys so this size looks pretty okay for me and i start brushing it up so you have to see what the change is so it's already the detail coming here as well so you can set the feather and flow almost there because it gives that ease already brush in bit here reduce the size of the brush here and bring up the details here so the picture this was before this was after so if you have to see what the change gradient filter has brought you have the before after for gradient filter alone so this was without the gradient filter this is with the gradient filter you can see uh, there is a lot more detail it's almost like an hdr but it looks very interesting already so this is how to bring details in the sky and note that this is only possible if you capture a raw image a bit underexposed because you have to have a lot of details in the sky especially in the whites because you can see here it's a uh, overexposed and there's no detail here you cannot record the details here right now and your image should be a bit underexposed to get the details in the sky so that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this time's video as well so don't forget to subscribe and more videos are coming soon